Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at three different ways to select objects within AutoCAD. Uh, I'm sure at least one of these is going to help save you some time and I think you're going to enjoy this one. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so jumping right in, we're gonna go over these really quick here. Uh, the first way to select objects is pretty straightforward. You can simply highlight or hover over them with the mouse and left click. This is gonna select the object, allowing you to view its properties using the right click and properties menu here. Uh, while your object is selected, you can also simply click on any of that highlighted or line work that you've got selected and hold down the left button. That's gonna allow you to move it around. This also works with multiple objects selected. I'm just gonna hit undo here and go back. So I'm sure you knew that one already, but a second method that you may or may not know is using the crossing or selection window. By clicking once with the left button and dragging down and to the right or up and to the right, you're creating an inclusive selection window, meaning that every object needs to be entirely within the window for it to select. So you can see it won't select this object here until I completely cross it. This can be helpful to select specific objects and anything that is in, in completely enclosed within your selection box. Another option would be to click and go to the left and up or down and this is going to select any object that it crosses or that the crossing window touches. So you can see that it's selecting objects before I've fully enclosed them. This is going to make it quick to quickly select everything in an area, including anything that may be attached to the objects that you selected. Whereas using the uh, inclusive window here, going down to the right or up to the right, only objects that are entirely within the window are being selected. As with the other selection method, any object that is selected, if you simply click and hold on them, you can move them around in the entire group. All right, now so for a third quick selection tip here, we're gonna be taking a look at select similar. So by selecting an object and right clicking, you have the option down here to use the select similar prompt. Doing this is gonna select any object that is the same as the one you have selected. Uh, typically this is gonna go based on layer or object type, but this is gonna make it super quick to pick all of say the lines in a specific layer and select them at once. This is gonna allow you to change the properties of similar property to objects all at once uh, by using your property menu or simply delete or moving them at the same time. Lastly, for a bit of a bonus here, a fourth selection tip uh, is using the quick select option or dialog box within AutoCAD. Right clicking is gonna bring up your right click menu here and go down to quick select to activate the command. Within quick select, you have a variety of options on how you would like to select your objects based on color, layer, line type, line type scale, plot style, line weight, transparency, or a similar hyperlink. You also have the ability to choose whether you want an entire drawing or you can click this button here and select a group of objects you would like to select from. You can also choose whether it is any type of object or a specific type of object like a line, polyline, arc, or block reference. And you also can choose a little bit of definition of how it's gonna select, whether these are equal or not equal, say, if you wanna select everything that is not, say, on an orange color or on, say, the electrical layer, you wanna select everything else, you could use the not equal to. You can also choose greater than, less than, or select all. Down here, you're able to choose the value of the property that you've chosen. Say you want to choose a layer, it's gonna give you the layer list, or a color will provide the color list, and so on. You can also choose down here whether you would like to include it in your selection set or exclude it from a new selection set and append these to, say, a group of objects or add them to a group of objects that you've currently got selected before you activated this command. In our case, we're gonna choose the color red here. Hitting OK is then gonna select all of the objects in the drawing. 
that are set to the color red in the properties. So there you go. Those are four quick tricks to selecting and choosing your objects easily and quickly within AutoCAD. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like this tip, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course, which is out now and on sale for all of you, my viewers, by using the link up above or down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.